Uh, <laughs> there you go. Now you know what to do. And knowing is half the battle. Let's go ahead and bop right on over to Brownells for our Brownells bullet points. Ooh, I was getting a little bit of winter love to that uh, AK right there. All right, all right, all right. Are you familiar with the BRN-180? If you're not, you should make yourself familiar with it. So what they have done is they've actually, uh, they had a first generation BRN-180, and the BRN-180 is their faithful reproduction of the stoner-based AR-180, or the Armalite affectionately known as the Armalite rifle, which is kind of interesting to me because the AR-10 stands for Armalite Rifle Model 10. The AR-15 is the Armalite Rifle Model 15. But the AR-18 or the AR-180, the difference is one of them is select fire and one of them is not. Of course, I guess you're always selecting the fire, yeah. If, even if it's safe right. and semi. But uh, they affectionately became known as the Armalite. And they were very popular in the 70s and 80s. And then they just kind of whoop, disappeared. Kind of disappeared. Well, the folks at Brownells brought them back. And they brought them back as the BRN, short for Brownells, the BRN 180. I didn't know that there were 180 degrees of burns. I thought there were only three or four. Mm, that's true. Five, so. Six. The BRN-180, in case you haven't been paying attention, is now available in multiple configurations. You can get it. Yeah, keep that up there for me. You can get it in a 300 blackout pistol, 10-inch pistol barrel. You can get it in a 223 wild or 762 by 39 pistol barrel. You can get it in a rifle length barrel of 16 inches in 223 wild. Um, and if you guys don't know, a 223 wild chambering will accept both 223 Remington and 556 millimeter NATO. Uh, they got a 16 inch barrel. They have a sport version, and the sport version actually has a redesigned charging handle. Then they have an 18 and a half inch barreled version for people who want a more traditional rifle style. So. Yes, um, the point is the BRN-180 is a faithful reproduction of the original stoner-based AR-18 or AR-180 or the Armalite. And you young kids out there have no idea. You guys got no idea how cool the Armalite uh, rifle is. And uh, you say, well, I'll just buy an original. <laughs> ha! 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 Oh, go ahead and get back to me on that. Go ahead and buy the original and then uh, get back to me and let me know how that worked out for you. <laughs> how come we, in the gun industry, we went from manufacturing gas piston operating, using the gas piston op operating system, then we left that, and then now we're back to it? The, I don't know. Our wor The gun world is so cyclical. I learned this about 10, 15 years ago. Uh, how about how cyclical I'm pretty sure it was Walt Roush who said he said look the gun world is cyclical he goes if you like something and it, 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 does, it went away just wait be calm it'll come back around it's like fashion oh uh, I'll give you a great example the uh, the little pocket guns were really popular in the 80s they were crap but they're popular uh, and then they went away and the high cap nines Everybody had to have high cap nines, high cap nines, whatever it was, the Glocks and so on and so on. Berettas, Glocks, Berettas, SIG 226 in the 90s. Everybody had to have those. Uh, the Smith & Wesson 5906, which was a turd, but whatever. And then all of a sudden in the early 2000s or mid 2000s or whatever, the 380 was back. Everybody had a new 380. All the manufacturers had new 380s. Uh, 10 millimeter, super hot in the 80s fizzled out in the 90s and well look at that now everybody's got to have a 10 mil again <laughs> welcome back welcome back 
So, but uh, you know, the, the, I I believe that the uh, the AR one eighty uh, style uh, is is legit. It is a very legitimate style, and it, it's kind of weird that uh, it didn't catch on. And and people complain. We still have people complaining about the direct gas impingement. I never, I would never buy a gun that 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 you know pukes into its own mouth or something like that. Or this, they're from like, well, cool. Do you have a an Armalite? You have an AR one eighty? No. <laughs> well, that was the <laughs> Stoner's like okay. You got to feel bad or feel for Gene Stoner. So he came up with the AR-15, and people got all mad, and they're like, I don't like that. I don't like the way it operates. And so Stoner's like, okay, I'll make a gas piston gun right here. You want that one? No, I don't want that one either. <laughs> well, what well, what do you want exactly? No, but if you guys would like to avail yourself to the goodness that is uh, the BRN180. Uh, if you'd like to avail yourself to that, then uh, then you can, uh, and you can, and because you, you're an American, and I would suggest, I would suggest, if this is something that you want to do and you're excited about, doing it sooner versus later. What do you think? Uh, what do you know about? Stuff? Yeah, what do you know? You don't know nothing. You don't know nothing by nothing. Yeah. What I would really like to do, and I have not done it yet, but... Uh, oh, and real quick aside, if you decide you want to build a, uh, a BRN-180 rifle, they have the original... Uh, well, it's not original, but it's a, it's a replica of the original side-folding Armalite stock. They have that at Brownells, so... Uh, and you can also get the original uh, slant magwell design, the Armalite slant magwell design, uh, lower receiver. So that's actually pretty cool, too. 